going in. What are you doing down here, nurse? Where's Mr. Litton? Litton was released this morning. Now, do you think you could get back to your desk? Dr. Richardson, you are requested to go to room 201 immediately. Dr. Richardson. you there. Who is this place? Nurse Robinson from Hartman State. You remember? Oh, yes, of course. Jennifer, how are you? Doctor, Lytton's been released. Oh, no. They wouldn't do that. I was just in his room. They've let him go. It's empty. God help us. There's nothing more we can do. You know how dangerous he is. You have to stop him. I tried. They wouldn't listen to me. you know yes yes I'll do that yes I'm on my way thank you I need all the numbers but well, believe me they did read Mr. Melendez's rights so what's the problem Mr. Melendez is deaf look him up he's deaf how long did it take our boys at Blue to realize this? Well, the arresting officers probably still don't know. There's a note in the report that Mr. Melendez was resistant and uh, incommunicative. That he was. All right, I'll go on hold. I authorized printed Miranda cards two months ago. Now, where the hell are they, Alan? I don't know, sir. Yes, I'll hold. <laughs> Okay, get in contact with me. Sergeant, excuse me. There's a guy outside. Is this a talking to you? Okay, tell him I'm busy, please. Yeah, right. Hey, buddy, I told you to wait outside. Sergeant Willis, Sergeant Willis, if you don't hear me out, there's going to be a terrible murder in this city tonight. Why should tonight be any different? Two minutes, please. Sergeant? I'll take it, Morris. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a seat. I'm sorry, Sergeant. There's very little time. Here, look at these. These are from 15 years ago. He was clever, you see. Litton was good. It took us a long time to dig him out, but eventually... Mole, guilty but insane, can find a state hospital for life. Oh, life. Life. We live in an era of cutbacks, Sergeant. The shortened attention spans, life is what, 25 years, 20, 15? Uh, what is the point, sir? I was his doctor for most of those 15 years. I lived with him all that time. Nobody knows him better than I do. The jury demanded life, but rehabilitation was still our goal then. What I mean is, rehabilitation was impossible. I knew that after I spent an eternity with him. But my young colleagues didn't want to hear that. No, gentlemen, I told them. In this case, we are obliged as professionals to admit defeat because this man is clever. May I sit down, Sergeant? Oh, please, please do. Uh, Alan, would you get the doctor some water, please? I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but I've held this in too long. Oh, go on, please. Yeah. So, I... Thank you. I turned to the chiefs of staff and I said, this man is brilliant. He will figure us out before we figure him out. For God's sake, gentlemen, it's not enough just to lock the door and throw away the key. We've got to destroy the key forever. Alan, why don't you take down the doctor's statement, please, and put it in my priority review box? 
No, Sergeant, no. No more paperwork. It's gone beyond that. Don't you see? The fools released him today. They sent him out into your city this morning. A cured man, they think. He is not cured, I assure you. But God help us, he is better. Uh, he's not cured, but he's better. He's more cunning. He's more in control of himself. He's out there, and he is better. You must stop him. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with this case. Uh, why did they call him the mole? This was the enemy. He was terrified of the daylight. He liked to work in the dark. I'm going to look into this, but I'm going to need a place where I can get in touch with you. Do you have a, an office? Oh, uh, yes. There. Uh, if I'm not there, I'll leave a message on my machine. It's Dr. Stoddard. Uh, yes, sorry. My name is uh, Maxwell Stoddard. Sergeant Willis. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. Get all my uh, calls switched to the message this week. I thought I wouldn't have to use this in my last week. Stoddard was diverted from the Litton case almost a year ago, Sergeant. Why was that, Doctor? Because he was on the case too long. Surely a policeman understands burnout, Sergeant. Stoddard lost objectivity, that's all. It happens. You released Litton this morning. Stoddard feels you lost objectivity. Dr. Stoddard quite simply gave up, Sergeant. In order to do our jobs properly, we have to be optimists. As a doctor, you've got to believe everything is possible. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm one step ahead of you. I'm a cop. I already know that everything is possible. The irony is that we believe what Stutter didn't want to believe, that he had done his job, brought his patient back to normalcy. But he's playing with you, don't you see? Stutter said, Lytton loves to play. To Stutter, there was no recovery. After 15 years, none. He told us that we cured Lytton's symptoms, not his disease. He was eventually overruled. And then? First, we sent Stoddard on a much-needed vacation, and then upon his return, we gave him cases across town or county general. Uh, you diverted him? Yes. Look, Lytton's file isn't here, Sergeant. I'm sorry. He was discharged early this morning. It's probably in processing. This is Walker. Excuse me. Dr. Parks, look, I've got oh, this. This is Dr. Silver, uh, Litton's case operative, like your parole officer, Sergeant. Doctor, uh, Litton was supposed to phone in at noon and 3 o'clock. We haven't received either call. Are you sure? Well, maybe you couldn't get to a phone. No, I'm sorry, Doctor. Look, I've confirmed that he's checked into this apartment. We suggested. Is this the address? Yeah. There are plenty of telephones in that area. Well, then, uh, maybe. No, maybe nothing, Doctor. You find Litton's file and he sent it to my office. I don't care what it takes, you find it. 4.45. When the hell is sundown today? Two messages on his answering service. Yeah, thanks. What's happening? 
for it, let him live. He got his address at the hospital. Thank God. Look, we don't want any fireworks. He knows you better than anybody else. If he gets up there, is he gonna open the door for you? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? You're a psychiatrist. You care. You kind of check up, okay? Litton, it's Dr. Stoddard. Litton, I've come to see how you're doing. I heard you got out today. Litton, please open the door. What the hell with this thing? Alan, I'm gonna need a warrant. This kind of behavior always preceded his attack on a human being. Doctor, there was a body picked up a short time ago. It had been propped up against the wall of a building near Fifth and Central. Now, they assumed it was dumped there. You're not sure from where, though. I'd like you to come take a look at the body, just see if you recognize the style. Stick around here, will you, Alan? Well, it was ripped up like this room. Then it was lit. Are you sure? Oh, I know his history. I know his dreams. For God's sakes, of course I'm sure. Should have told me about the body before, Sergeant. Told you what? I mean, I didn't know for sure whether this guy was attacked by Litton or not. Anyway, there wasn't time. Only 15 years. Sergeant, I want you to take me to where you found the body. Why? Please don't question my instincts. Because people question my instincts, we're in the middle of this nightmare. All right, let's go. see the body. You'll be able to sleep tonight. What is it? Yeah. What time did you say they discovered the body, Sergeant? 5.15. Why? I told you he likes to work in the dark. It was still daylight, 5.15. staying close to the scene of his crimes. He could still be down there. We've got to stop him. I'm going to get some extra men down here. No, no, there's no time. You just stay where you are. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. This is Willis. Send two units, fifth and central, now. Repeat, now. Copy, Sergeant Willis. Two units on their way. Doctor. Doctor Stoddard. Doctor. Doctor Stoddard. Doctor Stoddard. Doctor!
Sorry, Sergeant. I don't know what got into me. I couldn't wait. I could feel him down here. And what do you feel now, Doctor? I think I heard something what? down there. You think we should wait for the other men? No, you could be right. He's miles away by the time they get here. Let's go and get him. Okay, you back off now. I mean it, but stay back. This is my job. are on the way. The Lytton file just arrived. Yes? Jim Stoddard was right. Damn it, Alan, I know Stoddard was right. Only he's not Stoddard. The real doctor has been dead for hours. He was torn to pieces. Dear mother of God. Jim, are you there? Are you there? Uh, oh. Jim, get out of there! Please, Mr. Blood. <laughs> 